Casa Voyageurs, the main railway station in the city of Casablanca. From here on you find the high speed trains, many long distance trains to all over the country. But we'll be traveling aboard of a regional train to the airport of Casablanca, what is the biggest airport in all of Morocco. Even though I travel to Morocco by train and ferry, I'm traveling back by plane due to lack of time. But of course I'll take you on this last train ride within Morocco as well. Join me on this train over here. The airport express from Casablanca airport to the main station of Casablanca. This is the biggest airport in Morocco and if you arrive here from overseas you most likely arrive here. From here on you can start your railway adventure in Morocco and even in Europe because I came to Morocco by train and ferry. But before we get all into this let's get this video on the track and let's roll the intro. We'll start this mini railway journey at the railway station of Casablanca in Morocco. What is Casa Voyageurs? Around the railway station there's a lot of new developments. And they also have this tramway, what is ideal to reach some other parts of this city. But obviously a taxi stand is also located over here. I mean we are in Morocco after all, there's not a shortage of taxis. And this here is the railway station of Casablanca. Oh, what it used to be. Here on the left that's actually the new modern day railway station. It's a really modern building with all the facilities the modern day traveler could wish for. You won't only find the train that we'll be taking today to the airport, what is just a regional train that actually started at the railway station of Casa Port. So it's a commuter train, but you've had many other trains here as well. For example, the Al Borak train, what are the high speed trains in Morocco and the Al Atlas trains, what are the slower conventional trains in Morocco, but do pretty much go anywhere. And traveling by train in Morocco is actually super convenient. You can find trip reports on this on my channel and you can also find them in the description of this video. Also videos on how I traveled to Morocco can be found in the description of this video. Facilities within this railway station are located at a higher level. Over here at this level there are the toilets but also the prayer rooms. Well I didn't went in there because I'm not a Muslim. And if we go a little bit more up you find most facilities. So railway related services and a tons of shops. Directions have been marked crystal clear within this railway station with the use of icons and everything has been mentioned in Arab and also in French. There are plenty of smaller screens that will host information about departing trains. And you also find this big screen at the middle of the main concourse. From here on you also have a great view on the railroad tracks. Now let's head in to the main concourse of this railroad station again, where you find most shops and also railway related services. Like for example the Alborak lounge. This is the lounge for the first class passengers. It's not that loungy loungy lounge if you know what I mean, but it's still really nice though. I couldn't sneak in that well over here, even though I was traveling first class on the train that I took today. I do have a trip report on the Alborak trains as well and in the station of Tanser you can check out the lounge. I don't think it's much different over here. Right next to that you find the ticket counters, although you also find vending machines for train tickets over here. At the back of the railway station there are more taxi stands and also some more services for people who go from and to the railway station by car, like garages for example. And I have to say my overall experience on bigger railway stations in Morocco is really good. Things have been marked crystal clear and information about departing trains is very good as well. Traveling by train in Morocco is actually a pleasure. It's not just because it's the most sustainable way of transportation, but it's also a great way to learn to know a country. You learn to know the people, see the landscapes passing by. I just really enjoyed my time here. But now it's about time to head back to reality and head back to work and home. So I shot this part that morning that I took the train to the airport. We stayed at a hotel about 5 minutes away from the train station. You found many hotels around here. Like I mentioned, departing trains have been marked crystal clear in this railway station, so you can't miss the departure platform. Before you can enter the platform your ticket will be checked. 
I've bought my ticket online in advance, and I just showed it on my phone. For the train that will be taken today, it doesn't matter if you buy your ticket in advance or not. For the Al Atlas and the Al Borak trains, it matters because there they won't sell more tickets as there are seats available. For those trains, tickets do come including a seat reservation. Although I noticed in the Al Atlas trains that some people were looking for free spot at some situations. Anyway, if you go after the ticket check, there's a small waiting area as well. There are not that many facilities over there. And you can also go straight to the platform. This here is another commuter train. And these trains are not very new, then that's the least I could say. I hope you like this video so far. If you do so, or if it's a helpful video to you, please give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. The main focus for this channel is long distance and cross-bordering travel to show you what it's like to travel in a more sustainable way of transportation. So this means in general not flying. Um, however, if you watch this video, you might um, don't know about the options to go back train and ferry. So, well, maybe you can learn something more on this channel. Um, but if you'd like to see more, then hit that subscribe button. If you have some comments, some questions, let me know in the comment section. Um, and if you just want to say hello, feel free to do so as well. But for now, let's continue with this video. This here, this is our train for today. If you ever happen to be in a place called Belgium, then these trains might look very familiar to you. Yes, they are basically the same as Belgian Railway Class MS80 that has been built in the 1980s, 1980 to be exactly. So these are not the newest trains. Just like in Belgium, they still keep them up and running. This train comes in two classes, first and second class, and it has been clearly marked at the site where you'll find the first and the second class. To be totally honest with you, I don't think a first class ticket is worth the extra money on board of these trains. I mean, first class is a bit nicer, but compared to second class, it's really not that much better. I'll show you all in a bit. For now, let's head into our train for today. And I'll start off by reviewing the second class. Barrier free access is not really a thing in these trains. However, even though these are old trains, I found the comfort level pretty fine and I think the train is just by far the best way to go from and to the airport. Second class comes in a 2x2 two two configuration as you can see over here. The seats are basically all bay seats, so seats facing each other. At the side there's a table and right under the table you find a small litter bin. There is some extra space for luggage between the back ends of the seats, although it's not that impressive. But obviously you also have the overhead luggage racks throughout the train. And for the Airport Express, they also made extra luggage racks within the compartments. This here is the toilet. Uh, it's a bit dark though. Uh, yeah, it looks clean, but was well, not my favorite train toilet to be honest. Let's continue to the rest of the train. As you can see, the overhead luggage racks do provide really enough amount for us luggage. And also, you find these luggage racks all over the train. So, if you're traveling with a lot of luggage, you don't need to worry about these trains. This here is what is supposed to be the accessible area. Well, I definitely think you need assistance if you're traveling in a wheelchair on one of these trains. I mean, how do you want to get on these stairs otherwise? All windows do have a sunscreen to block out the sunlight. I mean, these are rather simple trains. However, compared to the total travel time, it's not bad. I mean, they're definitely good enough for the job that they're serving for. If you move to the first class, it has been clearly mentioned in the train that this is the first class, and facility maps of the trains can be found at several spots within this train. First class comes just like second class in a 2x2 two two configuration. And the legroom is slightly more, but that's basically it, so there's not a lot of extra added value to first class in my opinion. And compared to other trains in Morocco, I also found this train relatively pricey. Line maps of the Moroccan railroad system can be found in all the vestibules, this include Western Sahara. Morocco is really investing a lot to expand their railroad network. And to be totally honest with you, this is actually on an impressive scale. To me, the train is just by far the best way to go from and to the airport. It's fast, it's convenient, it's relatively affordable, and it's also quite a safe way to travel around. 
And yes, I know this is gonna sound ironic, but it's also the most sustainable way to travel from and to the airport. I mean, flying is just not sustainable at all. I try to fly as little as possible and especially within Europe and also Northern Africa. But for this, I just had to take a flight back. And even though most people might consider a flight from Morocco to the Netherlands as a semi long distance, for me, it's still a train distance. But well, I think this is about the first time in about four years or so that I'm taking a flight on such a distance. I also noticed that there were quite some domestic flights in Morocco. What's really a pity and not needed, and especially on some distances, the trains are even a better alternative. If you want to know more about trains in Morocco, you can check out some videos in the description of this video. And another thing, in the description of this video, you find a link to a map. And on this map, you can find all trip reports as well. But then on a map. Anyway, I already showed you some views from the train along this route. Over here, the train is splitting from the main line that is heading to Marrakesh and will go on the special railroad line that goes to the airport. For now, I just stop talking and I'll be with you in less than 15 seconds to show you the airport station. Here, our train is arriving at the railway station at the airport. Even though the railway line between the main line and the airport is single track, you find quite a lot of railroad tracks over here. I think initially they have very big plans with this airport station. And maybe this is also for extra capacity if it's needed for some special events or so. I don't know, if you know this let me know in the comments. Anyway, over here you find three platforms and four tracks. And the fact is, it's always cheaper to build a little bit too much if you might need this extra capacity in the future than expanding a railway station in an already existing environment. I also noticed these railway switches at the end of the platforms. I think this is meant for locomotive haul trains so they can swap the engine over here. The station actually feels a bit dark. I mean, it's a good station though, don't get me wrong, but it feels a bit outdated compared to many other stations, at least I noticed in Morocco. But maybe I just only saw the bigger towns and the nicer railway stations. At the railway station itself, you won't find that many facilities. I wanted to go to the concourse over here, but this door was locked. Oh, strange. So I just went to the other door, and over here I'm at the main concourse of the railroad station at the airport. There are some shops where you can buy some coffee and snacks, and some places where you can wait, some general waiting areas. There's also a prayer room and toilets, obviously. At this railway station, there are quite a lot of car rental companies. You also find this, by the way, at many other bigger railway stations in Morocco. Obviously, you also find a ticket counter, and there's also a vending machine where you can buy train tickets, although I bought my train ticket in advance online. If you move to the airport and I'm not passing security yet, you have to go through some basic security. So you have to put your luggage in an x-ray scanner and then you are at the airport. You literally end up between the terminals 1 and 2. I hope you liked this video or this has been helpful to you. If so, please give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more trip reports about more sustainable ways of transportation, in general not like this, but the main focus for this channel is cross-bordering and long-distance traveling, then hit that subscribe button. If you have some comments, some feedback, or even if you just want to say hello, feel free to leave a comment. Before we really end up this video, one last thing. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it or this has been helpful to you. If you want to see more trip reports, of course you can find them on this channel and you can also subscribe to see new videos coming up. Apart from that, like I already mentioned before in the video, in the description of this video you find a link to a map and on this map you can find all videos as well, but then on a map.